Well, hey, good morning, everyone, and welcome back to the cabin. Um, as you can see, I've got oodles, and I mean oodles of black walnuts. I've got trees ranging from this size right here down to about this size. And when Smokey first noticed them on the ground when they first started falling, he thought that they're balls. He still does. And there's nothing more than he likes to chase than a ball. So um, I think, you know, a lot of times when I come down here, he'll be standing here waiting for me to pick one up and throw it. Just like this. Watch this. I got the ball. I got the ball. You want the ball? Oh, I got the ball. <laughs> but anyway, uh, you can, they're a lot more tart than the regular walnuts, but um, you know, you still can make uh, fudge and bread and things like that with them. So what I'll probably do is come down here and pick up the best ones. And you know, around here, people just lay them in the driveway and run over them with a vehicle, which um, squashes this outer shell right here. And then you get to the nut on the inside, and then of course they let them dry out. And then they will use them to um, make whatever it is that they're doing. So we're actually doing our morning ritual. Heading to the creek so that they can get wet, and then we'll head back up to the cabin and we'll get started.
hey guys I don't normally do a lot of talking on this channel or try not to it's more working um, but what I'm doing is I'm actually clearing this whole area out here I've got a pile of posts left over from clearing the drive up here to the homestead uh, a lot of them are still good so I'm going to move those and got two stacks of logs that I'm going to move and probably two stacks of that slab wood back there that'll have to be moved um, what we're doing is we're clearing an area in here about 50 feet wide and 100 foot long. I've got a dozer coming up. He's going to kind of level that out somewhat. We're actually going to build a new building for the sawmill, move it down the hill, extend it, have a place that we can store the lumber when it comes off the sawmill, probably move that wood stove in there where I can use it from time to time, fire it up, um, and dry the wood out a little bit quicker. Then on this end over here, we're going to build a workshop and we're going to have a place that we can actually uh, store, uh, have the, the roof come on out and have a place that we can park the tractor there, get rid of that temporary one and uh, some of the equipment. So I've probably got, if three or four days a week at least, cleaning up this area right here, but I want to have it ready uh, so when he comes up here, then we don't actually have to do anything other than get started leveling this area off. So if you want to find out more of the details, be sure to go to our Outpost Review channel because I'll talk a whole lot more about what the plans are uh, in the future for this area. Just real quick, I noticed the other day that when my son and I were up here um, clearing out for that walkway that we put in, um, this corner right here, he was standing there looking at it and it reminded me that I needed to fix it. So these are little plastic pieces that actually came on the two metal doors that I installed on the cabin um, that you know basically protect the hinges until somebody buys it. So I figured that that I filled it up with caulk that caulk will dry and hold that on the corner right there so at least it's not as dangerous so that's the reason that I put that there
I'm actually uh, saving this right here for my hoodle culture mounds, which I will probably put out on this end uh, next year after we get all of this graded off because it's uh, decaying and rotting um, and it's really not as good as those other posts. Those others were primarily cedar. There's a few here, but they started rotting and these are poplar, which were on the bottom. So this will be good to um, start those um, garden, the hoodle culture mounds with by throwing it on the bottom and then putting dirt and leaves and things like that over the top. So I'm going to stack these somewhere else uh, so that we don't run over them with the dozer and save them because they will last a couple of years as they die and decay and leave a lot of nutrients um, in the mound for the growth of vegetables and whatever I plant in there. So I have to move them somewhere else.
Well, hey guys, uh, Patrick had to leave. He could only be up here with me for a few hours today. But all of this is the trim that's going to go on each side of the purlins, on the inside of the cabin, and that upper center beam. And then these over here, what you saw me ripping on the sawmill earlier were actually 14 foot two by sixes because they didn't have any uh, one by sixes that were 14 foot long. So I got those, I ripped them on the sawmill. This is what they're gonna look like when they've been burned. I have to oil them, but once I do that, they will resemble everything else that I have done and they're a whole lot lighter. It'd be a lot easier for me to put up. The kids were, they were getting on to me about doing a lot of lifting with a bad shoulder up overhead. So we all decided that I would just get the uh, store-bought material and all I have to do is cut these to length and put them up there. And honestly, it's a little easier than that slab would because there's really no starting point since it's curvy. I can't just slide it up to the fence on the table saw and cut it. So this will help out and it will still give me the same aesthetic look and I believe it's going to look really good once I get it all oiled up. So what I'm fixing to do next is to finish burning all of this and I will put the timber oil on it and then I'll be able to stack it on the inside of the house and uh, use it you know, on a rainy day or a really cold day that I may not want to get outside. I'll be able to have something to do to finish uh, trimming out the inside. So let's get busy and see if we can't uh, get all this burn and get it oiled up.
Well, hey guys, I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. I know I didn't get a lot of this film, but I had some company that came up and I actually worked on this while we were standing here talking. And Actually, it was a cousin of mine. He stayed for a good while, but uh, anyway, I've got all of these. I've got all the oil on all of them. The only thing that I need to do is the short one and a half inch trim pieces. I've got to lay them out here, burn them and oil them, but it's getting late and I don't think that I'll start that. But my son, my daughter and I, we really appreciate you guys stopping by and tuning in and actually supporting us on both of our channels. So if you're new here, be sure to go to our Outpost Review channel. That's a behind the scenes where we uh, answer a lot of questions on what's going on up here. Um, but we certainly do appreciate that. Also, be sure to go to our website, SmokyMountainOutpost.com, because we do giveaways on both channels. That's how we show appreciation to you guys for tuning in and viewing uh, the channel. Uh, also, uh, winter holidays are coming up, and fall is here. We've got a lot of um, apparel and that type of thing in our store. Uh, so down around the description section, you'll see a link to our store. Be sure to go check that out because there may be something there that you like or that we, you want, want to get someone. Um, also, towards the end of the video, if you want to watch more of the Outpost channel, you can click the top left-hand corner. I'll have some thumbnails that will pop up. And if you want to watch the review channel, the most recent video, and click the bottom left-hand corner. So guys, thank you again so much for sharing our channel with your family, friends, and neighbors. We certainly do appreciate that, and we don't know uh, how uh, to say thank you enough. So that's the reason that I say it on every video, and that's the reason that we do the giveaways. But anyway, we hope that everyone has a great afternoon. You guys take care, and we look forward to seeing you back up here at the cabin again next time.